got. So if you look across the board, all right, and let's just take it back to our daily for a second. Now, what do you notice about every push? Well, every single push starting from here, okay, so as the market falls from up there, it goes down like that to this level, um, it has to attempt to break the support. Okay, so it tries and it does it in line with things like that and things like that and things like that. And it teeters around and then it, and then it does break the support. So it doesn't rebound, it breaks the support. So that level brings you down to this one. And the same thing happens again. And like I said, this is why you need to buy these levels if you want to make an income, because otherwise you're going to be waiting and waiting forever until the price falls entirely. And that's why people get frustrated. But you saw support there, okay, and it's back there as well. So that was ideal. Can it bounce from it? Well, no, it breaks through and then you get to this level. And what happens again? Well, the same thing. You bounce off this, okay, and you bounce off that. But, but does it go high enough? No. So the key factor with one, this one, that one, and that one, okay, it's a dodgy three, I know, is that every single time your pushes are extremely weak. And that's because you don't have strength and the support level that you're using doesn't supply enough strength. But one of them will eventually. But what you can do is you can see, well, okay, well, if there was strength here, surely this wouldn't occur. Because remember, what I'm showing you now here looks exactly like that and that and that. It's a weak bounce with early rejection. So it's telling you, you know, I say it all the time, your job is to, and I did a YouTube video on this lately, by the way, your job is to identify probability and trade it accordingly. Now, what is the probability like that you will blow up from here? Well, it's possible, but can you see the early rejection? Can you see the weakness in every candle? It's telling you that there is not strength here. And therefore, you may go lower like that. So instead of just rushing in and buying because you're desperate, you would read that and say, OK, well, it looks weak. I'm going to hold off. And I'm going to hold off until this level and see if that's the one that does it. Because that one's failed, that one's failed, that one's failed. This is failing. Could it be that the next one does it? And even if it doesn't, you can take an early exit like you could have on all the others. And you could have had short anyway. Okay. So as a line of best fit, for me personally, it would come under that previous low. And it would be anything really within this. Okay, anything down there is what would then constitute a re-long. And for me, again, that comes within your sideways movement you've seen on this particular FX pair. Okay, it hasn't gone up terribly and it hasn't gone down terribly. So if it goes to this point, you know, you can see really what I'm getting at. You can see it would go in line with that sideways movement. I mean, you could do it with a parallel channel, I guess. Okay. I know that's not entirely straight, but it's more or less there, isn't it? Okay, so you can see that it goes in line with the long-term trajectory. So if you understand natural market flow long-term, you can trade within the probabilities. If you have risk management plans, like the ones we teach live, you can do the same thing. Um, and it becomes a long-term process. Normally, if I'm waiting for news like US CPI, for example, I will wait for a rash dip and then I'll get in on the impulse. Okay, because it gives me an extreme price, you get lots of liquidations, and the price moves quickly. So we teach you all of that live on charts every day. If anyone's wondering, the link is underneath. Okay, it's our live trading academy room. There's loads of guys in there who learn from us every day. And we're very fortunate to have them too. Um,